So right behind me, I've got my washing machine and my dryer is going to go right next to it. I've installed the receptacle for the washing machine, but the dryer needs a dedicated outlet. So in this video, I'm going to install the receptacle for the dryer. And then I'll run my wire about 40 feet in this direction. It's a 10-3 Romex wire. And then in my main panel, I will install a 30 amp breaker, uh, wire it up, and we will have power for the dryer. And if you're doing this job yourself, just check out the back of your dryer. You'll probably see a sticker like I've got on this one, which will tell you the gauge of wire that you're supposed to use and the size of your breaker. And just a note about this 10 gauge wire, it's thick stuff, so you're not going to be able to stuff a lot of it into the back of your receptacle box. And with 10-3 wire, of course, you've got two hot conductors, and I just checked the instructions a couple times to make sure I was putting them on the right leads. Then I just worked my way back towards the panel, securing the wire as I went. All right, so I've got the power shot off to the house and I'm using a flashlight for this section of the video. I uh, note that this is technically a sub panel. My main panel is outside. So if you're looking at this and you're kind of wondering why it's wired the way it is, it's wired as a sub panel, not a main panel. So I started with the ground, then I connected the white return, and here I'm just wiring up this 30 amp two pole breaker. So two pole breaker, of course, you've got 
uh, two leads that are energized. Uh, the red one uh, first on top in this case and then the black one down below it. Two pole breaker will pull from uh, both wires leading into the sub panel from the right side and the left side. So that's it for this quick and pretty simple wiring job. Feel free to leave comments down below and uh, check out my other videos. I've got a lot of stuff on YouTube.